Fairfax and get a room. Go quickly, though. There's no time to waste. Welcome to the Everlasting Torch. We are always burning for you. You here to check in? Be my guest. Literally. Welcome to the Everlasting Torch. We are always burning for you. You here to check in? Be my guest. Literally. There you are. I was worried I might have run you off. I'm sorry if I seem overly hasty. It's just that this really is an emergency. See? You get it. Why doesn't Constable Oaks? I do hope you'll stick around. I would never consider living anywhere other than First Light. This was once the greatest territory in all Eternum, you know. It's a uh, long story, but indeed, once our markets were packed solid, you should visit the trading post yourself to see the current state of things. Check out the storage space available to you as well.
you see, it may have lost its luster. But we have ev I will continue to do what I can here. But ultimately, it's up to Constable Oaks to rally the settlement. I should certainly hope so. Sylvia's had enough time to develop her strategy. Please go and inquire as to her intentions. If she still has nothing to say, feel free to hover about until she does. Ah, oh, it's nice to see you again. I hope you're enjoying your time in First Light, despite all these fears about the corruption. Ah, Magistrate Bond is getting impatient, isn't she? <laughs> Always driven to action. It's one of her strengths. But sometimes we need to think first. One truth that never changes is that the First Light Settlement always needs supplies. That's the spirit. Even under dire circumstances, slow and steady is the course. <laughs> I would welcome your help. Gather wood, stone, and rawhide, and then refine them. Every little bit helps.
Anytime you fancy, visit me, or, or the town board outside, and take any task that suits you. In the, of course, in addition to your other fine attributes, you seem to be good with your hands, and we could use more of that. Take these... Did you talk to Artificer Kim? He usually spends his time near the wood shop to the south. It is very nice to meet you. If Sylvia believes you're good people, then that is good enough for It's my belief that everyone in First Light should know their way around the Forge. I've always thought so. And if rumors about a surge in corruption are to be believed, the settlement will need to increase its weapon stores. If you want to contribute to our defenses, this is one way you can do so. Then I shall teach you how to forge a simple blade. Take this satchel of ore, open it, and smelt the ore into ingots. Then take up the hammer and make yourself a sword.
Well, what have we here? A fine blade indeed. I see the makings of an- I did not notice it when you first approached, but just now I saw it quite clearly. You have a potent aura, my friend. The course of your destiny will affect that of many others. I do too. You know who you should speak with. Albert Riches, our resident survivalist, but so much more than that. Yes, you should go introduce yourself. Here's an intrepid young soul, if I've ever seen one. A coincidence you show up on the same day as the Shattered Mountain erupts? I think not. These are strange times in First Light. Much change is afoot. Gotta keep your head about you. It is, isn't it? But well, here's a question for you, friend. If this place comes crashing down, how do you see yourself handling it? Exactly. You survive, you go on, but do you have what it takes? Let's find out. What say you set yourself a camp outside these walls and hunt some wolves from the local dens? I'd like to see it.